All right, in this video, we're going to add two more pages. We're going to do the hitch peg and the hitch magnet, two very small features of this um, practice project. So we're going to insert another page. I'm going to rename this the hitch magnet. So the simplest part. Go ahead and bring it on. It's just a little cylindrical feature. It's very little. So we're changing the scale. You have to scroll down quite a bit. All these with the one in front, that is a numerator. And the second number is a denominator. This is a fraction. So the one to 40, that's a 1 40th, 1 40th size. Not 40 times bigger, but 40 times smaller. So we wanted to make it bigger. You want the numerator to be a bigger number. So that's twice as big, three times as big, four times as big. I believe I have a four to one scale that I was shooting for. So this was going to be my my first view, my front view, that I will project um, both to the side so that I can see a third dimension. So this kind of gives me width and height and that gives me depth. And for better understanding, we project diagonally up and right to get a front top right isometric. Let's make the isometric the shaded view. And now we will simply use the dimension tool to dimension both uh, circles as well as the depth and that's really all you need all that good now if somebody really wants to use the whole tool i know we didn't model it that way but you could use the whole call out tool um, actually no nope, on shape won't let you so never mind if you didn't use the whole tool it's not going to let you that's right so there's the hitch magnet let's add now the hitch peg so i'm just renaming that sheet right away as soon as i start it so we're going to insert insert the hitch peg right there and i'm going to change the scale i believe also the target was four to one okay now this um, i know that i'm looking at the peg and the underside of the head and what i'd really like is the opposite to show the head kind of the top of the peg so i'm going to that was front right i'm going to choose the exact opposite of front which is back and there you go i'm getting a round feature but i'm not getting that concentric circle so that lets me know I'm looking at the top side. Um, so that is my base view. I'm going to project that diagonally up and right to get an isometric. And I'm going to shade the isometric. And instead of a regular projected side view of this, we are going to do what's called a half section view. So I'm turning on the section tool. I'm going to leave it on vertical. I'm going to click right on the middle. Again, if it doesn't reference middle, I'm not clicking right now, I'm hovering around the edge and then bringing the cursor back to the middle and it should find it like that. I'm going to click here and then the next click is going to be zooming in quite a bit just to make it easier to see this little line and relative to that. But I'm going to click when the cursor is on the edge and this line is perfectly aligned as best I can to the middle. I really wish Onshape would get that to snap and it doesn't. So right there, I'm on the edge and it looks like my cut line is aligned to the middle, I'm going to click. So that was my second click. Just a, those clicks are just simple, click and let go, not like there's no click and hold. All right, so then I'm bringing my mouse out to the right. I get a preview of my section view. I'm going to click to place it, and this is what we call a half section view. Half of the view is sectioned, the top half. Okay, above this line is a section. And below that line is showing the outer part. So we really didn't need that for this, but we were simply wanting to kind of demonstrate how to create a half section view. So we chose this part as just an opportunity to do that. All right, so we're going to add some dimensions. Um, we're going to say the distance from the end of that peg to here. That would be a distance we'd want to know. Um, the overall length of the peg we're going to show right there. Um, we gave the radius of it with this dimension right here. That's half of right the peg, so kind of the half section. And the head of this is kind of a spherical radius. We're going to just grab that and give that. Now, if you wanted to add a note like SR to say it's a spherical radius, we can open that up and add an S in front. People may interpret that as spherical. Um, and that would be enough to go correctly model that part. So there you go. That is my hitch magnet drawing sheet as an example. So key thing, something new here, let's play around with how to create a half section view in Onshape. 